At the Futures Tastings, we were in the Mudok area tasting the 2014 vintage for you. At first growth La Fitro Child and Mutomer Child, we spoke to the people responsible for making these great wines. That's what's coming up. Uh, during the Futures Tastings for the 2014 vintage, we taste a large number of wines. For my tasting notes and ratings, I suggest that you subscribe to my free Bordeaux wine magazine. You can do that following the link over here. Here are my interviews with the people responsible for Mouton and Lafitte. I hope you enjoy that. Okay. So that's for, for the new video, <laughs> 2014. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are at Lafitte Rothschild with um, the manager here, um, Charles Chevrier, who's going to tell us something about the vintage 2014. <laughs> So uh, it was a, a vintage quite difficult in the, in the vine growing process because the, the, the maturity was not so regular. In, uh, we start in the maturity in the beginning of uh, middle of July and then after that beginning of August was quite cold and so we have a stop in the maturity process and start again in, uh, after the 15th of, uh, of um, August. Uh, so at the time of the harvest we, we found some, uh, some vines in the, in the vineyard where there is some, some grape, green grapes and some other uh, with good maturity, so we have to be very selective. Uh, and the wine itself, what do you think? And uh, the, 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 the blend you've tasted. Uh, we tasted it, it was very good actually. Yeah, which is the, the definitive blend of course as usual. Um, uh, it's quite fresh and perfume and uh, there is a, a good balance, it's not a very big opulent wine. But what more classic, uh, also in the Cardinal, they use uh, Duar and Boyac uh, and Lafitte, so, uh, wow. Well. And Philippe, could you tell us something about the vintage 2014, please? Uh, 2014 uh, is uh, for us uh, what we call a, a very good vintage. Uh, it was a year uh, where we were able to, to get uh, an excellent uh, maturation, whatever was the grape varieties. The only challenge was to be able to, to wait enough to, to pick uh, and so doing so uh, we have an excellent ripeness of the Cabernet Sauvignon which is of course our main grape variety but also of the Merlot uh, especially on the gravel part on the, on the Mouton Rothschild part and Armagnac and uh, even the Carmenère which is a, a little plot in, uh, in, in Carmenon was able to mature it was just a question to wait because the weather was so nice, it was not too difficult, but to calm down the, the pickers, so that was the most difficult. Yes. So it might remain sometimes certain aspect of this famous mid 2010 vintage, yes. but of course not the same complexity. Yeah. Uh, to me it remains more the vintage profile like 86 for me. Mm -hmm. okay. With more maturity today, yes. because we don't vinify the wine today no. as we did uh, 30 years ago. No. <laughs>